Warning, cheaters may contain adult themes and strong language. Parents are cautioned that this program may not be suitable for children. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. So at this point, he leans in and they share a kiss. So you know this, you know this young lady? Yeah, I know her. What the do you think you're doing? How the did you do this to me? I got cheaters in here. From Cheaters surveillance cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false-hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. It's just like he's just trying to keep a big secret from me. I just can't take the lies. I just can't go on anymore. I need to know the truth. I don't like being the one that has to show you this. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we got it right now. They're in the south. I'm tired of the excuses. This is something that I've got to know. They're together right now. There they are. Let's go. What's up, homie? Who are you, homie? Real Reality Television as brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. Hello, I'm Joey Greco. Welcome to another installment of Cheaters. Allow me to introduce Kyra Ziegler, a charming young woman who suspects her boyfriend of using his musical talent to meet other girls. Tired of generosity without reciprocity, Kyra has cheaters find out the real story. Kyra Ziegler, age 24. A nurse worried that her boyfriend is up to no good while she is at work. I know I'm young, but uh, I, I do know what I want and um, I believe that I know what love is. Uh, and I found that in Jonathan. Um, he makes me feel alive every time I'm next to him. He's, he's been the only person that's ever given me the attention that I felt like I needed. And he just made me feel like a woman more than anybody ever has. The first year was actually the best. Um, like I said, he, he uh, we just had mostly, it was just mostly all fun. There were no worries. And every time I was around him, it seemed like everything went away. Um, it was perfect. It was perfect. I couldn't have asked for anything more. And I guess as the months went by, I guess around the second year when he moved in with me, um, I don't know if you want to say we started seeing too much of each other when he moved in, but it just seemed like at first I wasn't as important as I used to be, and second, uh, he just like had better things to do. He acts a little bit more standoffish than he used to. Um, he used to love being around me, you know, and I would, it's the most important thing to him, but lately um, he just seems like uh, he doesn't want to talk to me as much as he used to. The intimacy is wearing very thin. But I just, I just chalked it up to, uh, we've been dating for so long, and you know, I, I know that it tends to not be as intense when you work together for a long time, but it's almost like he doesn't even want to be around me anymore, you know? So yeah, we just, we don't spend as much time together in bed like we used to. I'm really upset. Um, I'm just really, really, I have a lot of hope that maybe we can turn things around. I, I just hope maybe we can get through to him somehow. Maybe he'll um, open up, tell me something, tell me why all this is happening, tell me why I'm feeling this way. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters licensed investigators may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Jonathan Shaw, age 23. A musician taking advantage of young ladies who admire his artistic abilities. Investigation day two. Cheaters PIs accumulate and review all available data to plan an effective strategy for the current operation. Maneuvering into position outside the apartment Kyra Ziegler shares with her boyfriend, Cheaters agents wait for any sign of suspect Jonathan Shaw. Leaving the apartment in a somewhat urgent manner, suspect Shaw tosses his guitar in the backseat of his car and departs. Zipping through traffic, suspect Shaw ends up at a nearby recreation park. Cheaters agents become suspicious when suspect Shaw is greeted by an unknown female. 
Walking hand in hand, the two find a place to sit, and suspect Shaw wastes no time serenading the young woman. Seemingly in awe, suspect Shaw's companion shows her appreciation in the form of a long, lascivious kiss. With his guitar in hand, suspect Shaw leads his lady back to his vehicle, and the couple departs. Investigation day five. Cheater surveillance teams continue their vigil outside suspect Shaw's apartment in anticipation of his further incriminating activities. Shortly after Kyrie departs for her evening shift, Cheater's PIs spot suspect Shaw's young female friend walking up the stairs to his front door. The couple exits the premises and is followed to a local bar and grill. Getting a better look, Cheater's investigators quickly affirm the identity of suspect Shaw's female companion. After some conversation and more kissing, the amorous duo leaves the establishment. Stopping to kiss some more before getting into the car, suspect Shaw and company are followed back to his place. But there's a surprise awaiting the oblivious couple in the form of several hidden cameras installed inside suspect Shaw and Kyra's apartment just two days earlier. The camera captures suspect Shaw strumming his guitar for his enraptured companion. Unable to control her fever for the romantic virtuoso, the young lady leans over and gives in to her desires. Following a long makeout session, suspect Shaw's companion leaves and Cheater's PIs close the day's inquiry. Investigation Day 7. Alerted by the investigation team assigned to cover suspect Shaw's new lover, Cheater's agents situated at suspect Shaw's residence make preparations for her arrival. The companion makes her way up the stairs to see Suspect Shaw. Moments later, Cheater's detectives spot the two conversing on the balcony. Suspect Shaw's lady friend appears to have dropped something as she disappears below the rail to retrieve it. After taking some time to locate the item, the female companion and Suspect Shaw leave for a nearby sports bar, where the focus remains on one another rather than on the game. Suspect Shaw demonstrates his utter lack of respect for Kyra in this recorded phone conversation. Hello? Hey, baby, what are you doing? Oh, nothing, just sitting around. Um, I was just calling to see if you could meet me for lunch. It's going to be about 9.30. We got band rehearsal tonight, babe. I'm sorry. But I think you didn't have band rehearsal on Tuesdays. Yeah, but the guys got some free time opened up, you know. Like, we just threw it together real fast. All right, well, I guess I'll see you tonight. I love you. I oh, know. I hate it when you do that. Why don't you ever say it back? I'm sorry, babe. I love you, too. Uh, bye. Cheater's operatives end the investigation and prepare to bring all of the compiled information to Kyra's attention. Coming up, the confrontation. Now that Jonathan's misconduct is irrefutable, Cheaters approaches Kyra to reveal the outcome of her investigation. Enduring emotional turmoil, Kyra comes forth to put an end to the uncertainty. Kyra, thank you for being here tonight. When you initially contacted Cheaters, you did so because you had some questions about your relationship with Jonathan. Yes. The reason that we got you out of work tonight is because our detectives have compiled some information that they thought it would be very important for you to see. Okay. Are you ready to take a look at it? I guess so. Now all I'm gonna do is just hold this so you can stay right like that. As the investigation starts, we had a detective outside your apartment. On this day, he was followed to a park where, oddly, he was met by a young lady. He sits down with this young lady, and you could see what he does at this point. He leans in, and they share a kiss. But does that woman look familiar to you at all? It's my old roommate. So you know this, you know this young lady? Yeah, I know her. On this day, while you're at work again, this young lady comes to your apartment, and you can see that he has no... <laughs> That's okay. It's all right. My apartment. 
You want a second? You okay? I I'm not going to make you look at any more of this. While you're at work, as it has been his custom, Jonathan's been meeting with this young lady, mm. and he's meeting with her again tonight. Right now? I'm going to call the detective and find out exactly where they are. What do you have? They're at your apartment. Let's go okay. over there. Let's go okay. over there. Okay. How long have they been there? They've been there for they've been there for about an hour. Okay. We're wrapping up and we're heading over right now. Okay. Are you ready to go? I guess so. Okay. Come on. I'm gonna call my brother. I'm gonna need to stay with him tonight. Hey, Kevin. <clears throat> yeah, it's Kyra. Um, um, I was just, I was just wanting to make sure that you were gonna be home tonight. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need to stay with you. Yeah. Um, they, uh, he's been cheating on me for a long time now. So, um, I just want, I'm just gonna get some of my stuff and come stay with. No, no, don't worry about it. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna do this by myself. Just let me, just let me get some of my stuff and I'll be over there in a little while, okay? I love you too. Bye. Yeah, let's just follow right back behind us. Right, right. Right turn. Out. Yeah, come with me. You got your key? Yeah. No. Yeah. Did you want get the out of here. Thanks a lot, guys. Oh, don't thank us. Get the out of my face. Can you talk you to her now? You just stop now? talking to me. Well, what, what am I supposed to say to her now? I mean, obviously everything. Just tell me why. Oh. Just tell me why. Maybe. Do you have a reason why you did this behind behind Kara's back? Would you like me to do it in front of her face? Well, you all pretty much did, didn't you? Yeah, I guess so. Thanks to you. Easy. I don't know who's this. Who's they this? told who's me this? not who's to this? come here. Where is who's he, here? guys? Whoa, whoa. Don't f it! Dude, my Guys. All right, security, relax. Careful, that's the brothers. Relax. That's the brothers. Whatever, he's a fing animal. Okay, Keith. Just get out of here. Just what get out of here. What do you think you're doing, huh? Come on, don't touch him. Back. This my You. You. You, what the f are you gonna do now, my f? Get out of here. You. Get the hell out of here. Get the fuck out of here. You're to me. You're to me. Where are you going? Come here. Come here. Your guitar? Give it to me. This is what I think about your music. You. 
Doug, you sucks anyways. My dad gave me this. I don't give a fuck what the fuck your dad did. Get the get the fuck out of here. You're a piece of. You're lucky I don't kill you. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. <laughs> You're okay. You're okay. You don't need him anyways. I told you. <laughs> now what am I gonna do? Look, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Where are they going? Doesn't matter. I can't matter. believe this. I just have to watch him go. No, no, you don't have to. Come on. Come on. And she's happy about it. Following the confrontation, Kyra reiterates her stance to end all ties with her unfaithful boyfriend. At the end of the show, Cheaters enlightens you on her strategy for the future. But first, Cheaters welcomes Topaz Williams. Topaz fell into an awkward spot when he discovered his role in a broken relationship. Topaz Williams, age 30. Topaz returns to share his views on modern relationships and his beliefs on what constitutes infidelity. When the vans first pulled up, I was like shocked. And a lot of things going through my mind at the time. One was my freedom, as in, damn, what have I done to go back to prison? Second was, who is this guy? Third was, is my life in jeopardy? Fourth was, how am I gonna get out of this situation? Last was, man, that's Joy Gregor with Cheetahs. I'm Joey Greco with Cheaters. Can you can you stop for a second and give Robert a chance to ask you some questions? It's okay. Hey, it's all right. Don't, don't start getting out crumb, dog. Don't start getting out crumb, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? That's now, what, what I'm trying to figure doing? out. What are you doing? I want some answers. What are all of this? What's this right here, man? The level of integrity that I have, I should have stood on it. Integrity, you know what I'm saying, it says I'll make a firm stand. And Taylor doesn't compromise. I compromise my beliefs. In doing so, I got stung. And I went and someone else ended up getting hurt. And I, and I, in a certain extent, I said it ain't my fault, but I, had, I played a part in it also. I can't lie about that. Let's see what I got to say. I don't want, I don't want to get into you enough. Now, I, don't, I don't care, dude. I, I don't care. I'm just trying to say one thing. I was in the wrong. I was. I admit I was in the wrong. But all along, man, you know, I had a feeling, man, that she still had feelings about you, man. I, and I sensed that for the way certain times she acted around me. And I ain't trying to do nothing, you know what I'm saying, to make you not hurt her, though. But I'm sorry. In the wake of this situation, my advice to a boyfriend would be, in the future, to do a thorough character assessment whenever you're getting involved with a person. Because sometimes, man, we tend to try to rush into things too quick. And doing so, we miss out on certain things and certain warning signs and red flags that can be seen if we was to take the time. So my advice is to do a thorough character assessment, know that this is a person you want to be with, knowing that, you know what I'm saying, she has her stuff in order. Kyra Ziegler is doing much better now, despite having her heart broken by Mr. Shaw. She says that karma will play a large role in her emotional healing, noting that no one can escape retribution when committing sinful behavior. Kyra has reluctantly started to date again and declares that all potential suitors will have no choice but to undergo rigorous interrogation before being considered. Jonathan Shaw now confesses to being somewhat relieved that the cat is out of the bag. Admittedly a coward, Shaw says that he just didn't have the guts to come forward and proclaim his fondness for another woman. When asked about his simplistic view of Kyra and their relationship, Mr. Shaw put things in perspective by commenting, I can't help the fact of who I am, just like you guys can't help being slime balls who profit from other people's misery. Mr. Shaw's female companion didn't offer much other than to say that Mr. Shaw is a talented musician and a gifted lover whom she is determined to keep happy by not making the same mistakes that Kyra made.
All done, sir. Thank you, Sonny. Thank you, Mr. G.